Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Mmm, this cream soda is not too bad. Ah, there you are, you little guy. Uh, catching some rays, I see. That I am, broski. What's on your mind, bud? Well, currently, James, you're a lot better. Sleep, you're eating, sleeping patterns are normal, and after they mix up your passport, hell, you let a whole new thought. Guilty as charged, Your Honor. So, any plans this afternoon? <clears throat> let me have a look see. Um, no, I'm free all, all afternoon. Brilliant. I'm looking to do a review of Power Rangers Battle for the Grid and so looking for somebody to work with. Uh, Try James, but he's, he's no up for it. Try Tails, and well, I think you can guess how that went. Where and? Well, let's see. Uncooperative and abusive is an understatement. Apparently, he died seven times to Gundyr. In Dark Souls 3? Yup. Tails, if you're. Tails, if. Tails, if you're watching this video, I have one word for word of two word of advice for you. Get good. <laughs> Got some advice as well. Fire. <laughs> right, so anyway, so while I'm down and the Series X is free all afternoon. Alright, well we'll have lunch. It's on me for the help, by the way. Uh first to ten on Battle for the Grid, then review time. Sound good? Heck yeah! Hey everyone, it's Snake here from a little squaddy from Texas. Hey everyone, Lucky Swifttail here, the first fox ever rendered in 4K resolution. This week, James reviews Game Pass's latest offering to the fighting game community based on the popular kids TV superhero action show of the 90s. Can this game brawl its way at the top of the summer Game Pass rankings, or should it stay in the 90s? Oh, 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 and by the way, um, before this review starts, my friend Fraser would like to say a few words. It's morphin' time! Right, I'll kick things off. Power Rangers was one of the biggest icons of children's television in the 90s. The franchise debuted on August 28, 1993. It's produced by Sandman Entertainment. This was the big factor of the su su successful launch of the Fox Kid programming block. The success of the franchise allowed it to become integrated in popular culture. Today, it consists. This game in particular was re released in 2019 to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. This game in particular is set in an alternate universe detached from the main canon. Lord Draken, an alternate, tyrannical, evil version of Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger, seeks to control the Morphing Grid while defeating the Rangers from various timelines in the canon. It's up to you to fight back against this tyrannical menace and set everything right. The accessibility scores are as follows. Visibility, we give a 10. There are only two colour combinations per character, but there are six outfits per character, so you'll be able to tailor the outfit and colour combinations to each of your characters to suit your impairments before jumping out of battle. So a visually impaired player will find no issues when playing this game. Mobility, we also give a sky... No. Mobility, we gave a sky high 11. As part of the course for a fighting game, the controls can be completely customized to suit your impairment. In a highly competitive environment like a fighting game where a single button input can bridge the gap between victory and defeat, this is a, this is a lifeline for a player with a mobility impairment. Gameplay we gave in the living. This is a more advanced version than bog standard tag fighter. The input windows for combos are less forgiving. This game focuses a lot less on air combos which makes the game much more challenging as your opponent is more vulnerable while in the air. The character roster is very extensive from classic fan favourites such, such as Jason Lee Scott, uh, the Red Ranger, and Kimberly Hart, the Pink Ranger, to cameos, for example, Ryu and Chun Li from Capcom's famous Street Fighter series. In summary, the Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is a breath of fresh air, the boots on the ground style of combat deviate from the norm. However, the majority of mechanics that you normally see in a tag fighter, such as assists and tags, are still out there. 
so please check out our review of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for more information about these mechanics. This game is currently on Xbox Game Pass, so if you're a fighting game enthusiast, don't knock it till you try it. And the overall score is 102.5%. See you guys in the next review. Lucky Swift Hill and MS Snake reading on the behalf of Spartan Commander 99 out. Roll out, Spartan Legion.